Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 32 of Elden Ring with my voiceover and critique of myself. So we're going back to fight that champion that keeps wrecking me. So we're back in, we're, we're in that, um, that jail place still. We have, well, I thought we had two special guests right now. I thought Esme was in here, but she left. We just have Cirilla here with us. She's right here. She's chilling like a villain. Watching the game. Ooh, there we go. Smart move. About time. I think this is when I start really, like, using all my spells to their fullest potential. I, I don't. But, to be honest, I could have just triggered them by getting close to them anyway, so... Don't know why I didn't do that. Hey, see, because I, I still waste magic. In doing so, I can just buck it. Still don't know how to run. Pretty, pretty funny. But I also got my coffee, I got my, my, my pizza, Canadian bacon pineapple, yes, I need to. Mm. I to pay it some more with Elden Ring. Mm. Got this. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's see. Might as well take it, take advantage of that. Drop. Oh, there we go. Now I'm thinking. I'm gonna take that hit there. I, I, okay, I, I end up losing, but I think I learned a valuable lesson here about rock snake. How freaking strong that spell is, especially with the meteorite staff. The thing about the rock sling is like you gotta be prepared and use it whenever they're not gonna reach you, because you you get like you you when you use it you're like in the stunned position. I guess I wouldn't. That's fine. Ooh, there we go. Dodge it. Yeah. All I need to do is just run straight into that thing. It's not gonna chase you. If I knew how to run, you get there a lot easier. I could definitely imagine me falling straight into the middle and just dying for even fighting the boss. I think I gave up on the room thing. There we go. Only two of those rock slings are hitting me though. Ooh, that hit. Ooh, look at that blood spatter. Yeah, I can I can see that I panicked right there. Because I got hit. Hmm. Amateur mistakes. That I probably still make in the future, but with less frequency I'm hoping. I do know one of the bosses I fight in the future has been one of the toughest ones I've ever fought. Like, I honestly was so stressed and annoyed and I just felt like I was not going to make it past that boss at all. The agility on that 
enemy was insane. And it was always up on my face. Never had any moments to breathe. Come on, dude. Learn the learn the learn its uh, attack pattern. Oh god! Mistakes. The mistakes. I know, Sarla. I know. She's pointing to. She's over here looking at me with some, like her big puppy eyes. Not my fault. I didn't even know how to run back then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. I will become a better other player for you. And Desme. And Coraline. All the pets. Parmesan cheese. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, here we go. We're back at it. That's my distraction during my little travel time. Cirilla's just right here. And yes, Cirilla from Siri in The Witcher. Exactly right. My dog is an interdimensional traveler. Ooh, come on! What are you doing? I could I could have given him two hits for that. I think I one not hit. You. Oh no! I thought that was it! I thought that was it! Dang, that one hit kill. I know I was disappointed right there. I think that's the closest I've been to beating him so far. So we look gone. Seriously, these dudes? Are you kidding me? Normally, when I get hit before fighting the boss, it's an indicator that I'm going to get wrecked. Should have learned that pattern. Three. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job. I'm not wrecked yet. Ooh, good one. I wonder if, if after months of playing, of not playing Elden Ring, I still have that like pattern recognition that I ended up gaining in the future. I'm like, oh, God. I'm curious to see if I can do it again or if I'm gonna beat this bad. What the heck is up with that little ball spam? Oh my gosh, good god. Don't 
panic. Panic. Ooh, good dodge. Okay. I think this is it. Yep, there it is. We did it. We freaking did it. Yeah. Okay, I guess I didn't get wrecked. Good job. Not bad at all, not bad at all. What are... hmm. Hmm. I don't think I ever went down there, actually. Looks pretty, you know, like a pretty nice place to to go and explore. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I think that's that's actually like jail cave, like ever jail. I thought it was always like gold or something. Okay, so what are we doing now? I think we're gonna keep following the... the streams of light, I think. I think I'm still trying to look for that needle. Like, I don't even remember how we got to that other part. Okay, why am I... why, why did I get off? Look at that, you roll in it and it still raises your freaking... Oh, that's why my horse disappeared. That's why Tony disappeared. You're forgetting that every time you get invaded, you die. Look, there's a freaking. Oh, I died. Okay. I didn't even check my freaking health. Hmm. That's a shame. True shame, true shame. Coffee. Okay, go to the left, buddy, because your your rooms are over there. Yep, there it is. Did we even fight that night right? Night again? The rot night or something? It's not. Oh, maybe there's one of them right there I can hear. Yeah. Pretty cool characters, to be honest. I like it. They look threatening. You know? They look like the wreck. The wreck. Ooh, bet I didn't see that one coming. But with Torrent by my side, I'm unstoppable. What the heck? Another one? There's three of them. Yeah, let me just freaking... Oh, clean rock. Okay. Another one over there. Yeah, I think I was like, yeah, no, I'm not strong enough for this. Definitely took those butterflies though. Really help out with those fire rings. Or like, yeah, I need to reset these dudes. Okay. Hmm. 
think I might have been around the vicinity before. And I think I got lost about the needle thing, so... You must find the unalloyed gold needle. It's hidden somewhere in the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Then I will tell you, as promised, the secret of the town of Celia. Oh, Daddy Duty's calling. But they're under control. What is that? I did not know go that way. Hmm. Still haven't found the needle. Oh yeah, this place looks like that. Facing the wrong way, but okay. <laughs> I missed that. Oh my god, it's an empty. Ooh. I definitely think this is right actually getting rid of the small fry. There we go. Yeah, this guy's super slow. I can't really do anything. to get better at shooting or time. Here's the freaking tank, you know. Time that he's not dying. I think I'm more worried about losing all my magic and not having enough, enough to beat him and I think that's why you're using the double. I got 
got two flasks left and he's halfway. Yeah, look at that. What an easy... I mean, it's not really a boss fight. You can leave at any time, but... Which is fine actually because they're just chasing me around and stuff. Okay, can you summon? Ooh, he buffed them up. Alright, last blast, come on. Get the best of it. Every hit count. Nice. There's no reason I should die. Literally, there's no. Ooh. I was about to be humble. Okay, last hit. Last hit. There it is. Disrespect, I even broke that sword. Not bad. There you go, got the unalloyed needle. That took a while to find. Am I gonna put my breaker up? Cause I keep getting one hit. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> oh wow, look at that. I'm gonna start using, oh no, never mind. I thought I was gonna start using all the runes. Dude, tell me the secrets of Celia. Coffee, so good. You know, I, I think I lit up a freaking tower myself, so I feel like I could have, you know, that that oh, light up the tower thing. It's useless. You know, this this uh, needle can cure the Scarlet Rod. I should have just kept it. Tiki's bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Can you give me as well made? It's right there. It's right there. Right below. There you go. Light three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. Yep. Yeah. Something I was already doing.
Hmm. So annoying that I can't run yet. Or at least, oh, no, not that I can run, but I don't know how to run. Roxanne is definitely wrecking them, though. Trade, so the left one. All these elites. They have a resistance to magic, but Roxling has a physical damage. That's what I get for being such a noob. I, need, I needed that smack. Like, dude, you need to freaking dip, you know? Don't know if it makes a difference, but. Hopefully it makes enough of a difference. You know, the whole concept of this invisibility thing, like, I think when I first, you know, bumped into it, and various enemies were showing up in different spots, I was like, what the heck are they teleporting? It's actually just a bunch of them being invisible and showing up at different times and stuff like that. Go. I don't know if I've found any of those painting locations actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Dang, that person just died right there. <laughs> There's one right there in the middle, there's one in the back. <laughs> okay, the rock is done. Okay. I'm so excited when I can actually, like, realize that I can run. I don't remember why. I don't remember what triggered that. I was like, oh, I can run. Like, I don't know what I was uh, trying to do. Like, there were places that I should have been running, where I didn't run, and... I kind of like that spell, it's pretty interesting to see it. Which was a little bit faster, though. Like, even if the enemies use it a little bit faster, like, I, th I think it's a pretty cool one. And this dude showed up out of nowhere. Oh my gosh! Nice. Oh! <laughs> I didn't wait for the swing. But, luckily I was right there. I think I ended up actually teleporting to the other one. So I didn't, I didn't touch that one. A stake. Which I think is still at the entrance of the other side, isn't it? I have no idea. I don't remember. Yeah, I was pretty much at the entrance of the other side. So pretty much everything is back to kill me.
I mean, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I was like, do I need to kill everything? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking at that time. Ooh. There we go. We're gonna get the room back. Just, just, you know. Dodge everything in your path. I mean, you just, how did that hit me? You know, if the AI for these enemies was uh, not not better, there I think I think it's a pretty interesting AI. But if they had the like they were invisible and they were able to go behind me and like sneak behind me and do like a back shot, that would have been so cool to see like that intelligent thinking. Oh, of course I freaking died. Maybe maybe there shouldn't be more a uh, complex AI. <laughs> As long as they can't handle the regular AI. I'm over here thinking about like a more complex one. Oh, actually, that's the end of the video. Whoops. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. The next chapter will be out soon. And voiceovers, voiceovers are almost over. I'll, uh, you'll notice when they when they go back to normal. And what's it called? Um, thank you for. Checking out the video, make sure you follow, you subscribe, hit that notification button, and check out all of our channels via the link tree. It'll take you to all the all the stuff we have. So see you next time.